Hello guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video. Today we'll be doing an animation test between iOS 18 with that of OxygenOS 14.1. So recently Apple has announced iOS 18 stable builds for iPhone smartphones which is currently running on our iPhone 15 Pro Max. Previously we did a similar test but that time we had iPhone 15 Plus which doesn't have 120Hz refresh rate. But now on 15 Pro Max we do have 120Hz refresh rate. So the comparison will be fair enough and you guys will be the judges let us know in the comment section below according to you guys which device has better animation so now before moving ahead if you guys find our content useful to you then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel in this video we'll be testing few things like app opening animation closing animation unlocking transitions and more so first let's start with the unlocking device and i'll also play the video in slow motion so let's see which os has better unlocking animation here I would say both the devices have good animation and good transitions and both of them looks identical while unlocking the device. You get that zoom in transition of icons soon you unlock the device. Now let's take a look at the transition and the animation of the control center on both the OS. So here on both the devices we do have that slight bouncy effect but I personally like the control center of iOS 18 compared to Oxygen OS 14.1. What do you guys have to say? Let us know in the comment section below. And now let's take a look at the app opening and closing animation. So here I personally feel both the devices have equally good animation and these transitions while opening or closing the applications. But if you take a look at the zoom in and zoom out effect, that's a lot better on iOS 18 compared to Oxygen OS 14. It feels super smooth and that transition is very beautiful. And here you guys can take a look at it in slow motion. We also have some stock applications you guys can take a look at the app opening and closing animation along with that smooth transition. Let us know according to you guys which has better transition and animation. Here you can take a look at them in the slow motion. And now let's open up the folder and see the animation. Here I feel that the transition of OnePlus while opening a folder is better compared to iOS 18. And I also like the blur present on OxygenOS 14.1 compared to iOS 18. Now let's open up the app drawer on both the OS. You can see that background blur is so good on OnePlus which is missing on iOS 18. Tapping on search bar, here iOS gives a nice blur effect and the transition is also beautiful on iOS 18. Let's take a look at the control center pop-up menu. And here I would say transitions and animation is better on iOS 18 compared to Oxygen OS 14.1. But they are also quite smooth. Talking about the recent page, I would say the smoothness is better on 14.1 compared to iOS 18. And now let's take a look at the Gaussian blur or you can say Gaussian smoothening. And that we can only feel when we open the applications faster. So here you can take a look on iOS and I'll play them in slow motion also. You guys let us know in the comment section below. And I do feel it's better on OnePlus. And now at last let's talk about some of the stock widgets animation. So all the widgets are stock here on iOS 18. Only on OnePlus they don't have their own calendar so I'm using the Google Calendar. And there we can see slight jitteriness. But we don't have any other option so I'm using that. Let's take a look at the weather widget. And here I would say both are doing pretty well but OnePlus still requires a bit of optimizations because here you can see if I close the widget the text appears after a while but that's not the case on iOS 18 and you can see that in slow motion also.
Now moving on to the next widget which is calendar. So as I said, I'm using the Google Calendar here and that also has slight bit of lagginess towards the bottom side. You can see those corners at the bottom, I mean the event corners, they remain static for few milliseconds and later on they disappear which you can see here. Let me also show you guys in the slow motion. Moving on to the next widget which is photos widget, we are using the stock applications here and on iOS I would say it's slight jittery, you can see here how it pops up. On OnePlus it's the same story, that text is still appearing late on Photos widgets too. But talking about the transition, I would say OnePlus has slight upper hand. And now at last we have the last widget. So guys, this was all about the animation test between iOS 18, I mean the stable version with that of Oxygen OS 14.1, wherein OnePlus have added that new animation engine. What do you guys think? Which device has better animation and the transitions? Let us know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.